What's up, guys? Matthew here from BC Business Professional Repair. Um, today, we've got a 11 inch iPad Pro 3rd gen, model number as below A1934. Let's get to it. Guys, bear in mind, don't damage the camera. The face ID is paired with the board. A pair of jeans just shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't going back. Doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store I wanna take it on and I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch in my photos Where you go Every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures Forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see this Okay guys Okay guys So On this tablet As you can see there's these flexi that go to the touch um, We're just gonna test And then a little face ID camera uh, I guess just to get a better view. We'll sit here. So don't just go rip into the when disassembling and think it's just going to come out. You have to disassemble this flex cable. Let's just see if it comes on still. Okay. iPad's still coming on. Just always make sure before disassembling, connecting, that you haven't damaged anything, etc., etc. Touch is still functioning like normal. Let's turn this thing off. Okay, uh, this is a start. Let's get a start in there. Okay, guys, so once you've opened up the display, there's a, a trick. You think that it looks like one piece, but clearly it's not. So we take a small screwdriver. One has to remove that screw. One will then remove this screw. This is going to be, as you can see guys, you can see clearly that the uh, flexi is one piece. Now we can obviously, uh, what? Lost me a, yeah, plastic, 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 plastic. Cool. Then we can then disconnect that from there. Then this is our obviously our donor iPad. Okay guys, so now we've got our, obviously our donor screen that's coming off another iPad for this customer because we tried to keep the price down because these screens are very expensive. Um, so once I've got the face ID out, it'll then lift like so and come up. As you can see guys, the flexies sit like so so as you can see okay so now what we can now do is take out the screws okay 
we need to remove all three screws. We'll come up, sometimes this does catch, so just be careful. In this situation it looks like it's sticking nicely on the... Just be gentle. Don't be afraid to just get underneath that battery and disconnect it before disconnecting the screen. Okay, let's disconnect it. It will then come away, the display assembly will then come away from the display. We then need to remove the face ID. I'm going to show you how to do that and then transfer it to the transfer this face ID over to here so that the face ID will then work. Be careful not to tear this when disassembling. This face, this, these sensors over here need to get moved. On this device otherwise face id won't work these are the true depth the true depth cameras are down below over here however this needs to get moved just take a quick look at the a the way they've actually stacked it is almost the chip and then the ram sits on top of this they've actually done some split movements here's the nand wi-fi caps most likely the pmic is sitting here etc um yeah let's get the new display on and we'll show you how it's done Here we have the flood illuminator. Next. Get this other sensor. very cautious when doing so uh, my suggestion let's just use a bit of isoprof alcohol and remove it uh, give me a, uh... so, let's put some isoprof let's get some isoprof down ease 
piezo flex cable so just be gentle and nice and slow as soon as it as soon as you feel that you're pushing stop get some isoprof and keep going Basically, it's a booby trap, guys. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I just decided to do this video just to show you guys the complexity of this kind of repair. Um, okay. This, guys, is now part of your face ID. Okay guys, so now we need to do the same on this, on the, the working screen. So what we now need to do is we need to, we've obviously disassembled, we now need to connect these LEGO style connectors, there will be four of them, one, two, three, and the fourth one, let's connect them, do not connect this display without disconnecting the battery, it will cause a short on the backlight circuit and Good luck trying to fix it because there's no schematics for it. There is pretty much no help here on your own if you get no backlight or you see smoke come out of the iPad. There. 
once that's down. We then want to move the eye out of it. We can then This is on the 3G models. This is the actual. This is a Wi-Fi antenna to help assist with the signal. Yeah. Disconnect. Make connection. Just take a screw. power let us put the battery plate connect the face ID and then we can test once again guys it's a booby trap out here Apple loves doing booby traps with this thing Okay, we're down. Let's get that. Let's get the flexes in. Once that's down, we want then need to connect the face ID. Okay, I've just connected the face ID. Let's see, do we get an image? Apple logo means it's good. Let's see if we've successfully transferred the face ID. Touch is working. I do not get any message saying that the face ID is having issues. We can obviously alter, we can reset face ID, unlock iPad. We can do all of that. I'm not getting any issues in terms of. We will then just re glue the iPad. As I hope you found this video helpful. There's many booby traps within this iPhone. This iPad 11 inch. Don't tear the flex. Disconnect the battery before, please, please, please. Um, hope this video was helpful to you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more updates. See you in the next one. Thanks.